Hello, in this video we're going to use R to derive the maximum likelihood estimates of a Burr distribution and this is actually part two and the background videos one is moments of a Burr distribution, two is using R to generate data from a Burr distribution parts one and two and then the predecessor to this, the number three video is using R for the maximum likelihood estimates of a Burr distribution part one. Well it says one and two but this is this is part two, so I should probably take that off. So let's just jump right in. We're not going to re-derive the formulas or explain them really. That's all done in part one, and if you watch part one, it should make more sense here. So let's remove all objects from the list. And here, this is the function that we need to generate, generate data, random data, from a Burr distribution. So it all starts from a uniform zero to one random variable and this function is derived in the background video 2 up there. So we load it, we're going to do 1 million observations, we're going to let k equal 1, c equal 3, and then we're going to generate data. Boom! We have 1 million observations from a bird distribution with parameters k equal 1 and c equal 3. Let's calculate the mean of our the sample that we just took, 1.2 and calculate the theoretical mean which is 1.2 so it's pretty good uh, the second moment which we're not going to check the variance of our data and then the theoretical variance is 9.5 9.3 so all pretty good now this equation here is the it's the partial derivative of the log likelihood with respect to C and this piece right here, when you drive it, is actually k. So we had salt, we took the partial derivative of k, solved for k, and then we plugged it into this equation. So it's just one equation of c, and we want this to be zero. We're going to set it equal to zero. Well, Uniroot in R, it's a built in command, it's a workhorse of a of function. I use it so much. And this is it. So it'll drive the maximum likelihood estimates for C. Now since we're doing 1 million observations, look at this. So that's 1 million observations, 1 million, 1 million, 1 million. It, it took a second or two on my machine. I'm guessing your machine is going to be pretty fast. So then you take that estimate for uh, the you know, the maximum likelihood estimate for C, and then you plug it back into this equation to find the maximum likelihood estimate for K, and then you display them. Remember the true parameters were 1 and 3, and so these are really close to the uh, theoretical mean, or the parameters. So let's reduce this a little bit. Let's reduce it to a thousand, and then just resolve it. I'm going to go slow right there just to show you how much faster it is. So it's instant on, you know, when it's a thousand, when it's a million, it took a couple seconds. Plug it back into K and then print them out. So 1 and 2.8. So close, they're in the ballpark. Well, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. As always, I always copy and paste the code into the comments section for you to use. Hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.